चलो आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल ऑनलाइन पीपल यस ठीक है चलिए तो लेट अस स्टार्ट शुरू करें आर्डर आर्डर भीड़ ज्यादा होगी लग रहा है आज तो, हाँ केरला स्टोरी किस किसने देख ली हु सीन दिस मूवी You have seen this movie? अच्छा यू हैव सीन द मूवी वट यू फेल्ट अबाउट इट बोलो बोलो अरे एक वर्ड में बता दो इमोशनल एंग्री तो देखिए अंडरस्टैंड दिस तो वी कैन नॉट डिबेट ऑन द मूवीज मैरिट दैट विल यूपीएससी विल नेवर आस्क की टेल अस अबाउट केयर लाइफ स्टोरी बट इंटरव्यू दे कैन because they will ask a situational question they will tell you for example consider yourself as a dm of the district kerala stories published about the, the three girls of that district what would you do kya karoge what would you people do if you are the dm of that district would you allow it to publish or not first of all you will theek hai that is not your call to take if certificate board we have na cb if the censor board has allowed it then you are nobody to stop it first point that's the problem with administration they we have dual responsibility to maintain law and order but at the same same time protect liberty of the people it's their right to make a movie so movie as such is not the problem what follows is the problem the thing that has been highlighted in the movies radicalization and we already understand radicalization is a big internal security issue so this movie as such is not important but what it follows the message it gives and the issue it touches are important that's how that's how you will cover political news understood political news as such are not important but their spin offs the issue of law the issue of governance the issue of ethics the issue of morality they are important and they will be asked ha ah, yes go ahead radicalization okay radicalization means basically when you are a extreme believer of something you can be radicalized in any manner but we often associate radicalization with religion you could be radicalized in any manner for example you say that i am a supporter of absolute liberty no constraints so you are radical radical samajh bhai radical ideology extreme view it may be anything but we often associate radicalization with religion we associate it associate that with religion so the problem that we witness something that direct to home jihad this is a very severe problem we are witnessing in internal security you have seen this is a new brand of terrorism what happens a individual comes start shooting at people you seen the news around the world a individual come start shooting at people for example christ church in new zealand a person come armed with guns and start shooting at the muslims in mosque they all are radicalized and these people cannot be identified it's a very big internal security threat usually they who are terrorist you have a perception of a terrorist that these are such kind of people these are the feature we can identify but imagine any one of you can be radicalized all we have to do is push a particular narrative and how we do that social media we know the radicalization social media does you watch a video the next video is of similar nature the next video after that will be of similar nature so it creates a loop a loop that you cannot break until unless you explicitly search another topic sabko samajh mein aa raha how the social media create loops ab you are radicalized imagine i make a video which is false false but you people have no way of verifying it so maan lete your father forwards you something you will believe it you have no reason to doubt that person but that video is a propagandist lie 
अब ऐसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं मान लेते हैं मुस्लिम पर्सन सेइंग बैड थिंग्स अबाउट अ हिंदू पर्सन सो डज इट मीन ऑल मुस्लिम सेज द सेम थिंग इट विल नॉट बट दैट वीडियो विल बी कैप्चर्ड एंड सर्कुलेटेड टू एवरी एंड बाय दिस मेकेनिज्म यू क्रिएट जेनोसाइट्स दैट्स वी हैव इंक्लूडेड इन द टॉपिक आल्सो सो दिस इट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम एंड केरला मूवी द पीपल यू आर अपोजिंग दिस मूवी दे आर नॉट अपोजिंग द राइट टू मेक मूवीज दे आर अपोजिंग दैट बाय दिस यू मे डू समथिंग वी कॉल स्टीरियोटाइपिंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर गोइंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट यू फाइंड यू आर गोइंग ऑन द रोड यू फाउंड अ पर्टिकुलर यू फाउंड अ पर्टिकुलर गर्ल दैट इज बेसिकली ड्राइविंग बैडली सो डज इट मीन ऑल गर्ल्स आर बैड ड्राइवर But what you do? You stereotype. हाँ भाई ये खराब है सारे खराब हैं. And then you have this Instagram, Twitter video which shows the same manner. <laughs> you ultimately conclude भाई these are the problems. You understand the difference? That what is doing? देखिए that's what the statement. Initially they claim this is a story of thirty-two thousand women, and later on they change it to three. Why भाई? Why you change it from thirty? Thirty-two is a big claim. Thirty-two का मतलब it is a phenomena. थ्री का मतलब इट इज एन एक्सेप्शन दे आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग थर्टी टू का मतलब इट्स अ पर्टिकुलर फिनोमिना इट इज हैपनिंग वाइडली इट इज सिस्टमेटिक इट इज ऑर्गेनाइज थ्री का मतलब इट इज फ्यू पीपल हु आर डूइंग दिस थिंग एंड दे आर फाउंड एवरीवेयर हैवन बी हर्ड ऑफ गैंग रेप्स दे आर कमिटेड बाय अदर पीपल आल्सो कमिटेड बाय अदर पीपल्स ना इट डजंट मीन वी कैन कंक्लूड ऑल पीपल आर गैंग रेपिस्ट गेट द पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू फोकस रेडिकलाइजेशन इज फाइन आइडेंटिफाइंग रेडिकलाइजेशन आल्सो फाइन and that's what mk narayanan the former nsa national security adviser he coined this term called direct to home jihad in this i will not take you to for example afghanistan to radicalize you you will be at your home safely in front of a laptop computer or a mobile phone i will send you video that will over time radicalize your perception about a community if you are in minority then you will do terrorist activity but if you are in majority you will do genocide process is same for both process is exactly same but if you are in minority in a country what you can do at most kill few people but if you are in majority in a country you can create a genocide very good example hitler what hitler did there are four stages of genocide in the notes you can see four stages of genocides notes my available hai what are the four stages first you identify a common enemy first stage is you identify a common enemy once you identify them you blame them for everything all people do not have this and then we we will discuss pfi also this is the stages so stage 1 is finding a common enemy and who was the common enemy in germany hitler's germany jews so first he found a person who first he found a community whom he can blame for everything virtually on the earth he said germany got lost in the first world war because of jew they get germany is poor because of jew you people do not have because of jew everything he blamed on jew and people have a tendency they want to blame somebody else than themselves for example if you failed in civil services you will try to think yeah it was bad luck maybe you may have missed something maybe i'm not saying that you have people like that but it could be a case i'm saying that is a lot of people often have external locus of control rather than owning to their mistake they try to shift the blame to some net unnatural force god's will it was theek hai this much is clear but they should shift it to jew so finding a common enemy then you blame them for everything once you successfully achieve this then comes the third stage dehumanize why dehumanization because for example in prostitution do you think the pimps who are involved they do not do not have girls in their life daughter sister father, mother don't they have them how they treat them differently and the prostitutes differently because for them they are just commodities iske liye i have often suggest have you watched that movie love sonia maine kitne logo ko batai watch this na in that movie let me give you a particular incidents in that there was love sonia it's a movie on prostitution particularly very good movie do watch it it will give you good impulse so in that there is a very particular scene that will give you the essence of this third point in that the pimp who do this kind of trade he was with a girl he was taking that girl from a car he had an urge to have a cigarette 
then he give that there was a one person coming on the street he take the cigarette and give that girl to him so for him basically what they are trying to show that for that person that girl worth less than a cigarette of 10 rupees that they want to show so this is the third stage dehumanize entire community and once you achieve dehumanization genocide will naturally follow hitler not only killed jews the german people as a whole killed jews why if hitler was killing the jews the german could have stopped him but nay no because for them they were not human they were a problem that must be eradicated and that's the fear with this movie i'm again saying this movie is based on true events no doubt of three girls no doubt that was true but it is like taking a brush painting uh, putting it in the paint and painting everyone stereotyping it is called you getting the problem so radicalization is a problem it's a very big internal security problem but of minority it leads to terrorism insurgency separatism of majority it leads to extermination or genocide clear sabko so this is very important for your internal security paper and ethics paper and that's why we say never dehumanize anyone even if that person is the most vicious person on earth because once you make an exception you can always make an exception that was the case with kasab kasab ko we gave legal assistance not because we loved him he was a terrorist he must be hanged but we knew if we give exception to kasab from due process of law we can give that exception to anyone tomorrow government will brand anyone terrorist put shoot them out imagine that person could be innocent also so law always protect the weak not the strong it limits the power of strong so everyone is getting the issue that we have in kerala story online people clear everyone ha sheetal what's up university a lot of graduates are there we call them bakt what's up university graduate bakt it's a very important university they are doling out degrees also nowadays masters in hypocrisy <laughs> let's see which agencies are responsible so which agencies are responsible for india's internal security management the number one is state police because law and order is a state subject under seven schedule of the constitution so it is a basic fact for prelims that we have something called seven schedule of the constitution in that you have law and order which is a state subject so police as police is always the first point of response police is always the first point of response but said to say our police is not equipped well it is highly underfunded ab dekhiye imagine the uh, you can see differences here hmm yes amber that happened uh, imagine the discrepancy here in america there is a movement going on right now known as defund the police they are running a movement defund the police because american police is too much funded you see that paraphernalia on a police officer of america they have all things bad best to best car guns and everything they have in india may they do they sometime have torn out shirts except for delhi and mumbai these are metropolis they have sufficient fund go to state police chappal mein ghum rahe hote hain this is the problem they are when they cannot afford shoes how could they afford costly investigation so the biggest reform if we really want to deal with india's internal security the first point of reform is state police and sorry to say no government is interested here whatsoever the reason being if you reform the police you will lose the police and then how come this wrestlers who are on protest how come there is a act called pokso protection of children from sexual offences act it covers anyone below the age of 18 under this 24 hours mein arrest must be made and it's a very strong act and that person was not arrested because he is an mp of power he can create government destroy governments at least in his area in his place if there would have been a common man ab tak jail ke andar hota understand the difference and why this is happening because state police directly comes under the government the government directly controls the police and so they can control whom they will arrest and whom they will not arrest in this case remember there is a reform that you will do in internal security supreme court seven point judgment 
Supreme Court in Prakash Singh case gave seven points of reform for police. One reform of that was create a separate institution, National Policing Authority and State Policing Authority. A policing authority at national level and other at state level. They will control the police. The politicians will not directly control the police. They will control the police, but indirectly. And there were other six reforms that we cannot go in detail. But it gives you the essence here that to deal with the radicalization. And if there is anything, the first point of contact is state police. And our police are in pathetic condition. They can, for example, Arushi murder case. Anyone heard of it? Because of the police, it became a drama. They went there. They did not collect the proof correctly. And they created a ruckus. And ultimately, CBI was called the CBI, NIA, which are the body. Next body is. National Investigation Agency. It deals with the issue of terrorism in India. But it is a secondary body. It comes when state police is the first respondent of any crime. And when they feel that this is a big crime involving terrorism, they call NIA. Or NIA, if get the information that this is a big crime, they can sue more to come. But that will be the second stage. The first stage is always is state police. And for weakness of state police, I gave you the reason. Whom we can blame? I want to find a person whom I can blame. I like blaming people. Whom we can blame for bad police in India? Eh? Shall I say you people? Shouldn't I blame you? No. Why can't I blame you? Because understand this. 43% of MPs in parliament has criminal record. 24 of them has record like murder and rape. When you're choosing an MP who is supposed to make a law to make the free police is himself a rapist. How could you imagine he will bring a law that will catch him second day? First day that law will capture these sota muta people. But when police will be free, they will catch that MP also sitting with that class security of your money. This is the problem. Now, remember in democracy, you can blame anyone. You can cry as much. But remember, it is the people who ultimately own the responsibility. You choose them. If you choose rapist in parliament, then you imagine that they will have a free police to capture these kind of people. It will never happen. Clear that the ultimate people to blame is? So, okay? So, that's what you people are. Clear? Chaliye. So next body. That, nahi, that is not a problem. We have candidates who are literate, but we don't choose them because they are not appealing. There is a problem with human psyche. We love stupid vocal people. We love vocal idiot than intelligent introvert. If I give you two options, a person charming, exhuming confidence, speaking a lot, maybe an empty coffer, but other person reserved, sitting at a corner, not speaking very much. You will think that person is a stupid person. You will vote for a person who is vocal, who know how to manipulate, how to play with words. That's a weakness in human psyche. Then how come imagine Hitler get elected? How come somebody in India get elected? I will not name that person. <laughs> how these people get elected? Because we have a weakness. Remember this. Ah, yes, we love oratory people. They can keep this in mind. All dictators are good orator. Notice this fact. Another thing, for example, uh, this Manmohan Singh was blamed a lot when he was prime minister. When he was leaving the prime ministership, he said one statement that conclude all your points. He said the history will be kinder to me than the media. And it is true. Look at how he managed India's economy well. And he was a good prime minister. In his, right, in his term, you got right to food. 2013, you got right to information. 2005, you got right to forest. 2006, you got right to education. You got whistleblower protection act that protects people who blow the corruption cases. By the way, this is a law that Modi government has not notified even today. And they say we fight against corruption. Got the point? But he was called Mon Mohan Singh. Mon, silent Mohan Singh. Why? Because he was not a big orator clear hai? is it clear the fundamental issue and you can directly write this in ethics paper i'm not just saying it for fun you can write it 
that the fundamental weakness in human psyche is we love vocal idiots than silent intelligent. Clear? So second body we have is NIA, National Investigation Agency. National Investigation Agency. The other body we have, RAW and IB. RAW Research and Analysis Wing. It's a wing. A wing of what? Government. It's a wing of Cabinet Secretariat. RAW is a Research and Analysis Wing. It's a wing of Cabinet Secretariat. IB is a proper body. IB is Intelligence Bureau. So India's internal intelligence is with IB, India's external intelligence is with raw. This much is clear to everyone. So now let us come to the fine point, last point of this entire news. Ban on PFI. The example was sought. You can see ban on PFI is popular front of India. Ban on PFI. There is a law in India by the name of Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, short form of Terrorism Act. Under this act, organizations are declared terrorists. And also after Modi government's amendment, even individuals can be declared terrorists. Okay? Under this law, you can ban organizations which are working against India's integrity and sovereignty. This much is clear. Government of India banned an organization by the name of PFI. Aise naam matlo, Rohit. He's saying like RSS. <laughs> so we have a PFI, Popular Front of India. It was banned. Do you think it will serve the purpose? What do you people think? PFI is an organization which was radical. It was using violent mechanism and it was appealing the Muslim minorities. They were saying you have a Hindu radical government in power. They are committing atrocities on you. Come with us and we will we will wage a war against the government. Do you think banning this organization will serve the purpose? The reason being, if you are alienated, the entire reason of insurgency, separatism is alienation. When you feel this system does not respect you. Take your example. If, if, if you are in a household and you feel your parents does not respect your choices, if your parents are too much controlling, you would like to go out. Anyone would like to go out. Nobody like the constraint on liberties. A limit theek hai, but beyond that, you will be rebellious. If you can rebel against the people who raised you, then imagine the people, uh, imagine the common people. Can they rebel against the government? So PFI is a body which is capitalizing on radicalization. Capitalizing on feeling of separation, alienation among the Muslim community. And who is responsible for that? These netas. Their comments. Not entire BJP, but there are some people who make comments. Uh, who says Hindus is one community, Muslim is one community. Then you call them parasite, leeching on India. If you say these kind of things, whether you mean it or not. Modi ji brings a scheme, so he brings a scheme for everyone. He's the Prime Minister of India. His is all his efforts of inclusion are subverted by few people making stupid remarks. But we are a tendency, we love stupid remarks more than intellectual stuff. So we see stupid remarks a lot and it, it creates a perception among the Muslims that they are being targeted in this country. And this perception empower these kind of bodies. So today it is PIF, tomorrow it could be TIF, MIF, it could be anything. As long as people, the Muslim, who have the feeling that we are being subordinated, we are being subjugated in this country, there is no, it doesn't matter how many bodies government ban. It will emerge by another name, then by another name. Getting the thing, so the million dollar question and the answer to internal security problem of radicalization is removing the feeling of alienation. The only solution to deal with radicalization is Removing the feeling of alienation. Do not let them feel that they are second class citizen in your country. And if you will allow that to happen just because you won't vote in politics to win elections, then it will be dangerous in future.
क्लियर है सबको एवरीवन इज क्लियर ऑनलाइन पीपल इज इट क्लियर हाँ यस मीडिया प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल वी नो इंडिया मीडिया हर वक्त हिंदू मुस्लिम हिंदू मुस्लिम दे आर मोर कंसर्न विद इमरान खान देन अस अच्छा वट यू पीपल थिंक इमरान खान जर एज गुड और बैड इमरान खान जर एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान अच्छा बैड वाले कौन है रेज एंड कर लो सवाल नहीं पूछूंगा <laughs> कर सकते <laughs> अच्छा डू यू पीपल आर बैड गुड हु थिंक इट इज अ गुड इस पे वो पूछ सकते हैं <laughs> देखिए इट्स गुड वाई इट इज गुड बिकॉज For the first time, look at the reason Pakistan is a poor country because of Pakistani army. Pakistan has hundred rupees to spend on the people. Pakistani army take eighty rupees. When the people ask Pakistan why you take eighty rupees, they say we have India to fight. We have India to fight. Don't you want us to protect Pakistan? Nationalism, you know. Don't you want us to protect Pakistan? I want eighty rupees. You may live with one time food, but I want entire food because I have to fight India. for the first time the people of pakistan are directly targeting the army good for pakistan indian media may say anything they are not credible to the sources but it is good for pakistan because the people are getting the perception that pakistani army is the root cause of problems and the more they get this perception the more the pakistani army control over the people of pakistan will go down the more the civilian government of pakistan will get stronger it's a good news clear that that's how perception plays that answer your media wala thing that media creates perception and if there will ever be a riot or genocide then you can directly blame media example rwandan radio ever heard of rwandan genocide rwanda mein there was a big genocide the majority community committed a entire or for the first time rape was used as a tool of genocide isse pehle nahi hua tha first time they used rape as a systematic tool of genocide rwandan genocide and who played a critical role in rwandan genocide rwandan radio the re- dek leaders are radical they say things for vote but rwandan radio took those words to every house they did not have access to every house rwandan radio took their word to every house and that that created dehumanization and once majority community started to feel that minority is not human they are a parasite leeching on the country so parasite ko to you kill cockroaches ko you kill and they were cockroaches for them not human being so keep this in mind so the final point that we arrived at radicalization for majority leads to genocides for minority leads to terrorism clear or again what is terrorism not clear I always say, what is terrorism? If I ask, what is terrorism? हाँ जी क्या है terrorism? क्या कह रहे हो सात घंटे class terrorism? है terrorism है ना ये सुबह से शाम class लेते हैं terrorism है ये बिल्कुल violation law तो crime होता है terrorism किसने बोला था? हम्म हम्म yes the people who have had classes with me earlier understand this perception terrorism is a subjective term dekhiye for example bhagat singh bhagat singh was executed by the britishers why because he threw a bomb in central legislative assembly imagine government of india brings a law tomorrow i don't like that law i don't like that law for gupta community on behalf of my community i threw a bomb in parliament of india i will not kill anyone i will just make a sound to make the government hear so what the government of india will call me terrorist but what the my community will call me patriot always same person always one person is somebody's patriot and other person's terrorist and that's the problem we have so terrorism is a very vast term and for example if 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 i take an example that killing an innocent is terrorism then who is a bigger terrorist of uh, taliban killing 300 people in twin tower attack or us government killing 8 lakh afghani in its 20 year rule who is a bigger terrorist and that is not me saying that is us scholar neom chomsky was a scholar he openly said that the america is the world first terrorist country and he lives in america safely soundly happily but that's the dekhi america ko you can criticize as much as you want but one thing is good about america 
विद इन द बॉर्डर ऑफ अमेरिका द लेवल ऑफ लिबर्टी सुप्रीम ही कैन से हिज ओन गवर्नमेंट एज टेररिस्ट एंड कैन लिव इन अमेरिका विदाउट फियर कैन यू इमेजिन दैट इन इंडिया so we have to achieve that standard of liberty by him calling america terrorist america does not become a terrorist america does not even care and he is a renowned scholar by the way chota mota vyakti nahi hai he is a renowned scholar he write book and it is written it is read around the world but america does not react america is like fine you feel like it's your opinion clear so these are the dimension that i had for you utha liye jayenge ha bilkul these were the dimension i had for you in the kerala story so we have understood radicalization some brief of terrorism some organization to deal with the solution is preventing alienation only there is no other solution if you alienate them there will be attacks and this kerala story pfi bajrang dal ban they are nothing in front of alienation the more you alienate the more it will lead to and we understood two outcomes radicalization of majority leads to genocide radicalization of minority leads to terrorism clear to everyone online people clear any question chaliye so this we had next chalte next news that we have is from international relations that is new start le lo bhaiya notes le lo चलता है भाई उठा के चला लो किसकी तरह हो गया कोचिंग समझ नहीं आया मेरे को बाद में होता ना क्या बता रहा <laughs> हाँ दैट हैपन रोहित बट दैट द सैड स्टोरी नहीं होना चाहिए था बट बट वी कैन डू अबाउट चलिए एवरीवन गॉट इट चलिए लेट्स सेटल डाउन कोई रह गया है जैसे नहीं मिले नोट्स हो गया सब ठीक है सो द सेकंड न्यूज वी हैव इज न्यू स्टार्ट इट्स अ ट्रीटी इट्स अ ट्रीटी अबाउट वेपनाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर मटेरियल और न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स वी साइन दिस ट्रीटी वी मींस अमेरिका एंड रशिया साइन दिस ट्रीटी नाउ व्हाई वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस बिकॉज सिंस यूक्रेन वॉर Since Ukraine war, Russia is not sharing the data under this new START treaty, or known as Strategic Arms Limitation Treaty. यहाँ पे कहीं दे Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, sorry, वो solved हो जाती है. Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or known as START. It is a new START treaty because it was negotiated in 2010. Under this treaty, both America and Russia must share data about their nuclear arsenals. Russia has stopped. because of the ukraine war and the sanction by the western country it has stopped america recently released its data in public domain theek okay? hai so not very important but what is important is nuclear weapons and why we have them why you think we have nuclear weapons india also nuclear power kyon maza aata hai nuclear weapon rakh ke khatro se khelne ka shauk hai hame protection of what of our country against whom ha the term that you are unable to say but right deterrence nuclear weapon are a source of deterrence they are not a source of fight nobody will use nuclear weapon in a war it's utter stupidity it's called mad mutually assured destruction nuclear weapons one works on the principle of mad mutually assured destruction if you use nuclear weapon i will use nuclear weapon and ultimately no one will be left to use nuclear weapons theek hai so that's why nobody use nuclear weapons but then why we are spending so much of money on nuclear weapon kya why ha khauf bana rehna chahiye yes kind of deterrence basically deterrence rehna chahiye but they can understand this deterrence against whom Isn't it the same thing what the Pakistani army did with Pakistan? 
when we developed nuclear weapon i think zulfika ali bhutto the father of this uh, bilawal bhutto his father was the prime minister he said a very beautiful thing a very golden words we will develop nuclear weapon even if we have to eat grass hum ghaas khayenge par nuclear weapon banayenge to khao ghaas pe <laughs> so but understand the significance here matlab you think that nuclear weapon are more important than the people's food main pakistan ki baat kar raha hu aapki nahi you think that nuclear weapons are more important than food for their people and that's why they are in such a bad situation because arm that's what i am trying to say a term that you will do in ir known as securitization the term that you will study call securitization that will helpful in ir as well as internal security what is securitization uh, for example if i ask you what is the biggest issue india facing right now socio economic issue socio economic security issue the biggest issue that india faces right now socio economic security kya lagta hai aapko hai employment china threat and acha anyone else acha chalo example le lete hain it is hard to understand let's take an example how many people you think die because of terrorism in india every year ek a rough guess 50 100 main kehta hu 1 lakh very big figure let's suppose and how many people die because of lack of access to health only 5 lakh people die in india just because they do not have availability of basic water this is only water in com combined that with health the road accident food so it shows me that if dead people is the criteria then of course food is more important than terrorism but still we give more money to security forces than to the people's food why is it so securitization the term that i wanted to make you understand is securitization securitization means that this theory says i always told you reality is what you believe in maine pehle bhi samjha reality is what you believe in so the theory says of securitization that security threats are not real matlab severity the security threats are not real they are made up when they are made up when somebody in power refer to them as a threat for example if prime minister of india from the rampart of parliament or oh, sorry uh, red fort prime minister of indian red fort says that china is the bigger man lete nahi if he says pfi is the bigger concern for india so what will happen it will send a message to entire bureaucracy and they will focus only on pfi they will be like yaar other matters i will do later let's me look at pfi pradhan mantri ji said pfi is important it is the most important threat that is we call securitization so nuclear weapon terrorism what is this it is securitized issue once you say terrorism is the main concern of india's national security so the entire agencies of india rather than fo fo focusing on hungry women children uh, adults they focus on terrorist baat samajh mein that securitization so securitization leads to fake solution like nuclear weapons when you pakistan ne maine example liya they they openly said that nuclear weapons are more important than food to the people and in that context we have this yahan tak clear hai sabko the other dimension ir wala now specifically to new start treaty this treaty because this understand this concept the city understand that nuclear weapon does not serve any purpose unnecessarily we are spending money on a technology we will anyway never use so what is the point so this treaty says we will reduce nuclear weapon and two nuclear power we have the biggest nuclear power is america and russia so they decided we will slowly reduce our nuclear weapon and we will inform to everyone the entire public that how many nuclear weapons we have clear everyone but now they are not doing this so wo yahan pe dekhe likha hai it was signed year important hai yahan pe but roughly remember that this treaty was signed around 2010 exact year is not important upsc never ask exact facts clear so this treaty was signed around 
ऑब्जेक्टिव मैंने आपको बताई दिए प्राइम ऑब्जेक्टिव इज न्यूक्लियर नॉन प्रोलिफरेशन अब दे इज अनदर ट्रेंड दैट वी आर सींग दैट लॉट ऑफ ट्रीटीज बिटवीन यूएसए एंड यूएसएसआर दे आर डायल्यूटिंग दम वाई कोई आइडिया है सॉरी नहीं न्यूक्लियर वेपन तो है बट दे आर डूइंग अवे विद दिस ट्रीटीज क्यों किसके सैंक्शन रशिया के सैंक्शन अमेरिका के बिकॉज ऑफ चाइना अंडरस्टैंड दिस राइट नाउ द बिगेस्ट थ्रेड टू अमेरिका इज नॉट रशिया रशिया इज अ डेड कंट्री एनी वे ठीक है रशिया इज अ सेकेंड रेड पावर नो बडी केयर्स तो हु इज द बिगेस्ट थ्रेड राइट नाउ चाइना एंड दीज टीटी डू नॉट कवर चाइना दीज टीटीज आर ओनली बिटवीन रशिया एंड यूएसए अब अंडरस्टैंड दिस रशिया चाइना इज अंडर नो टीटी so it can make as many nuclear weapon as it wants russia and usa under nuclear treaties they have to reduce the weapon so over time the china will get the edge over america and russia so they are saying they are blaming each other ki we are reducing this treaty because of you because of you but scholars understand the real reason is china when this treaty will again come for negotiation that that, that time they will say china shall also be a member to the treaty because it has large nuclear weapons so this is politics politics means you say something you do some do something else clear everyone chaliye and in way we have presented technology intercontinental ballistic missiles i hope you have an idea what is icbms dekhe this is current events it revises virtually everything dekhe this is your science and technology part साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में आईसीबीएम्स देखिए आईसीबीएम्स आर नोन एज इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल्स हां लॉन्ग रेंज मिसाइल फॉर एग्जांपल इंडिया में अग्नि मिसाइल्स अग्नि सीरीज इज अ आईसीबीएम सीरीज सो वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड रॉकेट्स वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बैलिस्टिक मिसाइल और नोन एज आईसीबीएम्स एंड क्रूज मिसाइल्स दीस आर थ्री टाइप्स व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस a rocket is any projectile a rocket is any projectile which you cannot control after firing example a bullet वैसे rocket नहीं है but understand principle same है once you fire a bullet you cannot control its direction if the target move away it will not hit the target same is rocket once you launch the rocket you aim you launch if the target moves the your uh, missile will not hit the target clear that is called rockets after launching you cannot control its direction icbms are partially controlled after launch partially you can control their direction how it happens yahan pe maan lete there is india yahan pe maan lete america we don't like biden very much so what we decided to launch a icbm it will go from here in the outer space from india it will be launched it will first go in outer space and then it travel the entire distance in outer space again it will re enter to the atmosphere and hit america this is called icbms and during this phase in outer space they are not controlled and during this phase and this phase they are controlled that's why they are called as intercontinental ballistic missile and the feature they have is partially controlled so clear ho gaya rockets are not controlled at all and icbms are partially controlled last we have is cruise missiles so what is cruise missiles any brahmos i mean i'm saying na brahmos brahmos is a cruise missile cruise missile is once you launch that missile you can control its direction until it hits the target these are known as cruise missiles and sorry what is what are yeah. heavy bombers basically the uh, for example hiroshima nagasaki how it was attacked it was not attacked by missile there was a plane it had the nuclear weapon it flew over the japan and it dropped heavy bombers but now we do not need that technology now we have missiles i can launch a missile from india can hit entire earth 
So why should I do that? But previously, we did not have this long range technologies. So we had to fly a plane above a target location. Clear? So these are some way by which you can use what nuclear weapons. And of course, if you limit nuclear weapon, you will limit these technologies also. Clear? Hai? Online people clear? It also includes a mechanism called these are the features of the TT. Pella, reduction of nuclear assets. Second, declaring them in public. Third, transparency and verification. It includes on-site inspection, data exchange and notification. And most important, both country can monitor and verify each other's com compliance. Yeh nahi aapne bol diya, maine maan liya. Clear? Next, duration of the TT. The TT is, has a duration of 10 years. This fact you must know. The TT is of duration of 10 years. It may be as in UPSC or in state PSC. The new start TT is of duration of 20 years. So, you know that it's a limited duration. But year will be Then it will be like, yes, it's But it's hai. Take a words play. So, it's a TT of 10 years duration. It is renewed 10 years every time. It has been renewed right now. Take other TT. So, this TT is clear to everyone. New start. Why they are diluting this treaty? China. Because they want that China has more weapons. So next time when any treaty will be signed, we will bring China in. So they, we have to kill these treaties. Now, now this is real purpose. Stated purpose is that drama. You, play, you sanction me, you sanction me. Wala. Hai? Chalye, other treaties. This is very important treaty for arms reduction. NPT. Non-proliferation treaty, most important treaty. Non-proliferation treaty. India has not signed this treaty. What was India's acquisition? Because let me give you a summary. This treaty creates two kinds of countries. One is called nuclear power, and other is non-nuclear power. I think last statement will be written. Nuclear power and non-nuclear power. So who are nuclear power? Any country which had developed nuclear weapon before this treaty coming into force. Any treaty, any, sorry, any country which has developed nuclear weapon before this treaty coming into force is known as nuclear powered country. Properly legitimate or legal nuclear power. This was is clear. Any country which has not developed nuclear weapon before this treaty are known as non-nuclear countries. Not clear? So it creates two kinds of countries. This treaty, very important, create two kinds of countries. One is nuclear power, legal nuclear power, and other is non-nuclear power. This treaty says that any country which has signed this treaty, any country cannot develop nuclear weapon if they do not have it. Matlab, this treaty prohibits non-nuclear countries from developing nuclear weapons and cutoff date is 70. So 1970 it came in force. India developed nuclear weapon in 1998. 1998. Then we tested it and it failed. We developed it in Atal Anyway, so we developed in 1998. So you tell me India is in violation of NPT. Yes, but there is a catch. We have not signed the TT. The TT is applicable only when you sign. So this is what happened. The world, particularly America and Pokhran 2 Umber. Pokhran 1 may be tested. We failed. 1970, smiling Buddha. Ah, so India became nuclear power. Here is clear that this TT created two kinds of countries. Nuclear power and non-nuclear powered non-nuclear powered country cannot develop nuclear weapons as per this treaty if they want nuclear technology for energy nuclear material you can use for two purposes one nuclear weapon second energy so it says if you want nuclear energy you will not develop nuclear weapons but india did not sign this treaty because india said it creates nuclear apartheid it creates 
न्यूक्लियर अपार्थिड द वे यू हैव इन फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे रिलीजियस अपार्थिड होता है ना यू सेग्रीगेट फी पीपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल साउथ अफ्रीका में दैड रेशियल अपार्थी द ब्लैक पीपल वर नॉट अलाउड टू मैरी और हैव अ होम नियर वाइट पीपल नेशनल मंडेला फोर्ट अगेंस्ट दिस तो वट दिस क्रिएट इट क्रिएट न्यूक्लियर अपार्थी दैट्स इंडिया क्लेम and it said india has said that we believe that india's interest will be served in a wep- nuclear weapon free world india says that our interest will be served in a nuclear weapon free world and this treaty only restrict weapons for us not for the countries who already have nuclear weapons clear that's why we have not signed this treaty so let me summarize this treaty Uh, virtually every country have signed this treaty except india pakistan you know pakistan natural reasons uh, india pakistan i think iran is in violation of this treaty uh, north korea signed then came out of this treaty and israel israel is believed to have nuclear weapon never declared ye acha hota hai dekhiye the biggest mistake we committed we declared that we are nuclear power iska main nuksan hua tha kabhi detail mein samjhenge economic damage hua tha main because sanctions were put israel is playing good it is saying i ha- i have i ha- i can neither can confirm nor deny so basic mean is dekhiye no country will attack directly israel because they think it may have a nuclear weapon ho sakta hai to ho hi na so it is playing it is playing it is playing a blackmail basically and nuclear weapon are for blackmail i told you they are deterrence tool you want to prevent other party from believing they can win the war that difference too so clear npdtt it create two kind of country nuclear powered non nuclear powered the non nuclear powered country must sign this treaty and never develop nuclear weapon to have nuclear commerce and if they do this of course they will be in violation no nuclear commerce india has not signed this treaty clear hai uske alawa choti moti treaty hai which i have not given in detail jaise comprehensive test ban treaty india has not signed this treaty either the reason being it says comprehensive nuclear test ban tt it ban testing of any kind ab india ne kyon nahi sign kiya ise because india says america has developed computer simulations india ka argument kya hai this treaty bans nuclear testing in any format this was clear this treaty bans nuclear testing in any format land underground water anywhere but we say america has developed power of nuclear su- oh sorry uh, computer simulation it does not have to do physical testing it can do testing on a computer and this treaty does not cover computer testing clear so we have not signed tt on prohibition of nuclear weapon this is a new tt ab dekhiye this shows the hypocrisy in politics which is the one country which faced nuclear weapons japan This treaty has been recently come. देख लीजिए कितना कितनी recent है ये. 2021. It is the most recent treaty on nuclear weapon. It's a comprehensive treaty. It covers everything. It covers testing, production, distribution, every kind of thing that you can imagine is covered in this treaty. But still, India is not a signatory. And the fun fact is, Japan is also not a signatory. that's hypocrisy your country which suffered due to nuclear weapon has not signed a treaty which is critical in eliminating nuclear weapons the argument that is given dekhiye no country which is believed to possess nuclear weapon or have nuclear weapon already has signed this treaty they say that by eliminating nuclear weapons you cannot eliminate the reason of having nuclear weapons matlab jaisa samjhe if i come and say do not have a gun you will be like i will not have a gun when i will not have any threat ab ye to ho hi nahi sakta so basically they are saying aap kuch bhi kar lo we will have nuclear weapons this it is good anyway clear hai next we have nuclear supplier group india is not a <coughs> member so what is nsg what i want क्या बता रहे हैं न्यूक्लियर सप्लायर ग्रुप हाँ क्या लग रहा है कोई ड्रग वगैरह है क्या
ऐसा कुछ बड़ा काम करना चाहिए आप लोगों को भी कि आपके लिए एक पूरा इंस्टीट्यूशन बनाना पड़ता है ठीक है इट वॉज क्रिएटेड जस्ट टू कट ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड न्यूक्लियर कॉमर्स राइट नाउ इंडिया इज लुकिंग अ मेंबरशिप इन एन एस जी अब इसके बहुत डिटेल में जाए ना पड़ेगा दैट वी विल डू इन प्रॉपर आई आर यहाँ नहीं कर सकते बट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इट्स अ ग्रुप दैट कंट्रोल द वर्ल्ड न्यूक्लियर कॉमर्स एंड इट वॉज क्रिएटेड ओनली ओनली फॉर इंडिया बिकॉज इंडिया डिड न्यूक्लियर टेस्टिंग इन इन इंदिरा गांधी टाइम क्लियर है नेक्स्ट इज एम टी सी आर इंडिया हैज बिकम अम्बर रिसेंटली मिसल टेक्नोलॉजी कट ऑफ रिजीम द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट विल यू विल यूज फॉर सप्लाइंग और सॉरी फॉर लॉन्चिंग न्यूक्लियर वेपन क्लियर ऑनलाइन पेपर इज इट क्लियर उसके अलावा ये भी होता था कि हे कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट वासेना अरेंजमेंट बहुत ड्रामे है बट मेन आपके यही है मेन द मेन टीटीज आर एन पी टी सी टी बी टी दिस न्यूएस टी टी दीज आर द मेन टी टी ऑफ न्यूक्लियर वेपन टेक्नोलॉजी क्लियर एवरी वन चलिए तो दिस वी हैड अब आते हैं अगली न्यूज पे विद अ फाइव मिनट ब्रेक पांच मिनट का ब्रेक है सब थक गए सुबह से क्लास ले रहे हो ना तो इजेंट इट इजेंट इट एजुकेशन टेररिज्म है ना यू ऑल आर विक्टम ऑफ एजुकेशनल टेररिज्म क्लास अच्छा होगा पर लंबा हो जाना फिर प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है इफ देर टू मेनी क्लास है ये हम करेंगे टीना ढाबी वाले डिसीजन पे जो टीना ढाबी टेक करना डिसीजन ना टू अप्रूव दैट जैसलमेर वाला ये उसके ऊपर है फाइव मिनट वी विल स्टार्ट
चलो 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 शुरू करते हैं शुरू करते हैं सर चाइना इज डूइंग एजुकेशन हाँ बिल्कुल सही शीतल यस इट इज डूइंग चाइना इज डूइंग वेरी मतलब डेंजरस ही कहेंगे इट इज ट्राइंग टू कॉन्स्ट्रेन द थिंकिंग ऑफ पीपल इट कैन नॉट चलिए एनी वे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट न्यूज दैट वी हैव इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द टीना ढाबी दैट आई एस ऑफिसर इन जैसलमेर सी टू का डिसीजन दैट बिकेम अ पोलिटिकल रकस फर्स्ट थिंग नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू politically it's a political news not important but what is important why i took this news so that you can understand ki if there is a political news how would you cover it pehla it will it can be surely asked in interview because interview mein they will ask if you would have been at tina dabi's place that ias officer's place what would you have done because they want to understand how would you deal real life scenarios and that's interview personality test it is not a knowledge test This much is clear. It's the personality test. They wants to know that if you are in difficult situations, as every administrator is, how would you handle? This much is clear. So this news I have taken as an example to stimulate that such kind of news. Go how you have to cover. So basically, there was nothing. She took a decision because she took a decision, and that decision was based on a complaint filed by Sarpanch of the Amar Sagar and the locals. these people filed a complaint that they are some migrants who have come to jammu sorry jaisalmer in rajasthan and they are actually taking away the state government's land there is a state government's land or they are taking away who is taking away state government's land the migrants ab dekhiye what she did i believe exactly what an administrator will do as an administrator you must be a neutral arbitrator you must not take sides in front of you if the man let's say if there is a muslim boy comes with a complaint about a hindu girl then you should not see the gender you should not see the religion you should not see the caste you see justice so what she did i believe was ethical to do she received a complaint and she took an action that's how things work you receive a complaint you take an action if there is a problem you appeal to the courts this was just clear but there was a catch the catch is these people happens to be hindu migrants and we know the politics of india theek hai to uska tool bana diya gaya theek hai hindu hater she became all of a sudden and that you will be a truly in today's life of social media anyone can be made victim anyone can made can be made devil it doesn't matter what you do keep this in mind politics mein truth never matters perception matters it doesn't matter who is right what matters is whom you can make appear right that's the politics and she may have done everything legally but because it has a hindu kind of angle and now we have hindu khatre mein waise bhi you all has <laughs> rahe hain khatre mein nahi hai so we we have that so she became one of the people to do that this much is clear what is the what happened ab now what is important for us to know what is important for us to know is what is the problem with these people why they are here and if they are here what is our policy to deal with them if you know that and if you upsc mein maan lete hain in mains a question come or in interview they ask you if you are dm what you will do so you will take the basis of all the laws this much is clear now comes to india's refugee policy we will do two things here refugee policy and citizenship amendment act against with the protest took place these two controversial thing we will do pehla refugee the refugee policy india has no refugee policy whatsoever india neither has a law nor a policy on refugee also 
we are not signatory to the UN Convention on Refugee. So, na hi hum pe kanun hai, na hi policy hai, na hi hum signatory hai international law ke. So, India deals refugee on ad hoc basis, means case by case basis. And that to who deals with it? Ministry of Home Affairs. This is within the domain of Ministry of Home Affairs. This much is clear. But nonetheless, we have three principles. Because India has no refugee law, nor we are signatory to 1951 Refugee Convention. But nonetheless, we have three principles to deal with refugee. What are these principles? These were given by Nehru in context of re refugee of Tibbat. When China captured Tibbat, na, Tibbat and refugee came to India. In their context, in their context, it was given. Pella, refugee will be given humane welcome. And that's how democracy functions. But India is not a free lunch. We have our own population to cater. We don't to eat them. And you think India is a dharamshala, anyone can come. That will not happen. So, we will give you humane welcome, but you must, uh, it will be a bilateral issue and you must leave one day. India's three principles of refugees are, Pella, we will give humane welcome to anyone and that's how you behave. Even a person you do not know comes to your house to give them water and a food if that person is angry. That's what humans do to each other. First thing. Second thing, it is a bilateral issue among the countries which have. For example, this issue will be between India and Pakistan. Third, they must go one day back when the normalcy returns. So this is about India's refugee policy. We have no law, no policy, and we are not signatory to a convention. But nonetheless, we have three principles to deal with refugee. Legally speaking, India deals with refugee on ad hoc basis. Clear this much? But nonetheless, Supreme Court said something. Supreme Court in a case, NHRC was the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Ab isme, ab hypocrisy you can say or politics you can say, uh, it's not very clear. Dekhe, there are people called Chakma and Hajong. Chakma and Hajong are the refugees. Basically, they came from Bangladesh. Theke? And they are majorly settled in India's northeastern states, including Arunachal Pradesh. Chakma and Hajong. They are Buddhist and Hindu types. This much is clear. They came from Bangladesh and they are settled in India's northeast. On one hand, you have them. Second hand, pe, you have Muslim migrants from Bangladesh. And for both, we have different treatment. Chakma and Hajong, pe, the government of India is trying to give them citizenship of India. Chakma and Hajong, government of India is trying to give them citizenship. On Muslim migrants, the home minister himself says that they are parasites. This is the problem. That when you have two standards with two people of different colors, then there is a problem. So what is the solution? Because we are administrator, we are not political people. So what is the solution? The solution is we should have properly laid down guidelines. Like India is not a dharamshala. That is clear. Ki anyone can come. We will give food to anyone. Aisa nahi hota. We have limited resources. We, we, are, we are unable to give food to our own people. So India, mein anyone cannot come. But nonetheless, we are a good democracy which respects human rights. So we will take you, but at one point you must leave. Uske liye, how we will take you must be clearly stated in a law. Basically, the parliament should make a law on refugees. Parliament should make a law on refugees. And in that, put the conditions, whichever you like. Put the condition, for example, no background of any terrorist activity, no radicalization activities, uh, report of IEB or RAW. You can put any criteria. Once you make a law, it will be uniformly applicable. A Muslim come, a Hindu come, a Christian come, a Sikh come, a Buddhist come, Pakistani, uh, Afghani, um, American, anyone of any color, any breed, any gender. If they come to India to seek refuge, you will have a laid down criteria. And that criteria, the entire world will know. So anyone will come to India when after reading the criteria. These are the criteria. I fulfill, I can go. I do not fulfill. There is no point of going there. Path clear hui? So that is the only solution we have. If we have that solution, then these kind of things will never happen. That happened with this person, Jaisalmer DM. It will never happen again. 
because there will be a laid down criteria these people would not live like uh, live like second third class citizen in their own apni oh, country to nahi hai they will not live like third class citizens a problem samjhiye these people came to india hindu migrants and there is a fact pakistan mein persecution is real no doubt over this they have fled a persecuted majority in pakistan that is 100% real so they have come but government of india is unable to give them citizenship a problem city what is citizenship citizenship is like a membership it is a membership of a country called india you have constitution which is a contract kind of constitution kya hota hai it's a basic law which is agreed by all the people we all have agreed in the constitution of india that this is how we will run this country called india and membership of this club called india is citizenship samajh mein aaya so with citizenship jaise for example you are member of a golf club if you are a member then only you can use their golf area if you are not member of golf club you, they will not allow you to enter this is this is what clubs are so citizenship is like a membership of that club if you are a member of indian club then you can enjoy the facility of indian government and that's the problem here if this hindu migrants are given citizenship of india as per the properly laid policy then these kind of action would have never happened they would have their own home allocated by the government they would have ability to apply for jobs ab jobs nahi hongi tabhi to aap slum mein rahoge you get the point so actually the real person to blame in this crisis is government not that ias officer that person did as law said you are on a government land illegally enroaching so that person took the action if government of india would have taken or government of rajasthan congress is government if they would have give, provided them proper space to settle skills jobs then this would have never happened sabko samajh mein aa raha hai who is the real culprit here and what is the issue theek hai another thing that we have to deal with citizenship amendment act i told you know the only solution is give them citizenship or make a proper law for that government of india tried to bring a law known as citizenship amendment act dekh lete hain what is that ca 2019 under citizenship amendment act pehli cheez to yaad rakhiye we all are citizen of india not under constitution of india under a law made by parliament known as citizenship act 1955 ye fact yaad rakhiyega that we all are not citizen of india under the constitution we are citizen of india under a law made by parliament called citizenship act 1955 clear so it has been amended in 2019 and against this there were protest against this, you saw the entire protest that were going on was against caa why understand this this act says it exempts minorities minorities mane hindu christian sikh buddhist zoroastrian which is excluded which community is not present muslims, muslims. of which country pakistan afghanistan and bangladesh so it is being opposed for two reasons pehla if you are going to give accommodation to persecuted people government said we are bringing this law for persecuted people the people who have been uh, killed converted tortured in their country we will give them refuge because we are mother of democracy good sound argument but there is a problem why you are excluding a particular religion but then they give a counter argument they said because pakistan afghanistan and bangladesh these are muslim majority countries so majority commit atrocities on minorities so of course muslim cannot be the persecuted community false because within muslim you have sects there are two sects particularly shia and sunni pakistan is a sunni majority country there shias are persecuted the same way a hindu is maybe severity may vary a shia muslim may not be that persecuted or may not be that discriminated like a hindu hindu person but nonetheless they are equally persecuted chalo maan lete hain let's let me pick your argument main maan leta hu what you are saying is true then we have something called sri lankan hindu if you are that much pained by heart for these people then imagine this the tamil 
people who were in Sri Lanka in during Sri Lankan civil war, they came to India. They are majorly in Tamil Nadu and all. Why don't you give them citizenship? Why they have been living in this country for years since Sri Lankan civil war? They are Hindus. They are also Hindus. They are living in their own country. Do not have citizenship status. If you that much pain, to unhe bhi rakh lete. Let me assume that you are saying that the majority community cannot get citizenship of India. Only minority can. Then why Sri Lanka is not here? Because Sri Lanka has a Buddhist majority. The you got the reason or that angle that you are trying to make does not satisfy here. And somebody is saying something. Any question? Yes, Gayatri, you want to ask something? Acha, cool. TA clear to everyone? So it provides citizenship for these minorities and of these countries. And the reason government gave is persecution. The reason of the government is persecution. But it does not hold very good on morality and ethics. If you are giving, if you are that much pained by heart for these people, then it must include the Sri Lankan Tamils. The Sri Lankan Tamils who are Hindu who are living in their own native country without a status of citizenship, they should include karna chahiye tha, first thing. Second problem that this act brought is Northeast. They can understand this. Northeast is a tribal dominated area. Entire Northeast is tribal dominated. Tribes are also present in mainland India. But the difference here is in mainland India, the tribes are not in majority. There are tribes in every state more or less. But all tribes, they are not in majority. They are a minority, few people. In Northeast, tribes are in majority. But Northeast may keep this in understanding that North, tribal people have different understanding of native than us. We are now in modern thinking. For us, property is like a commodity. I bought it, I sold it. Tribal people are not like that. Tribal people still worship their forest. They are very much attached to the property, particularly land. So keep this in mind. For a tribal of Northeast, everyone is a foreigner. Everyone means including mainland Indians. For a tribal in Northeast, a person in Nagaland, uske liye a Delhi person is as foreigner as a Bangladeshi migrant. And with this law, that Chakma Hajong that I told you, and other communities that have come and settled in, settled in where? Northeast India, they will get citizenship. And that's why there was a huge protest in Northeast. So government of India finally excluded them. Law may exclude kar diya gaya. It does not apply to six schedule areas. Six schedule me, you have four states. Assam, Meghalaya, jo bhi, is side ki jo hai. AM, TM, kar ke hai. Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram. AMTM. These are the four states in six schedule. Six schedule is a part of the constitution that provides this state more autonomy to govern themselves. Okay? So they are not covered. Also, it does not cover inner line states. Inner line states are Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, and Nagaland. These are also not covered under this law. So problem And this was intentionally done because if Assam is the part of this law. Then Assam may there was a strong revolution against this. A term I think you have an idea, hai, I don't know. NRC. NRC, National Register of Citizens. National Register of Citizens. Assam, if a question comes in prelims, that which of the following states have National Register of Citizens, only Assam has. Assam is the state of India which has National Register of Citizen. No other state in India has NRC. Okay? First NRC was conducted in 1950s in Assam. Uh, what is the problem? Over time, a lot of people settled in Assam. Particularly who? Bangladeshi. In 1972, war. 1972 war happened. That is 1971 war, sorry. 1971 war of Bangladesh, when we broke Pakistan into two parts. Western Pakistan became proper Pakistan, Eastern Pakistan became Bangladesh. 
during that war a lot of people fled toward india and they went toward which country which places assam and this kya bolte hain uh, bangal bangal assam these places they went so assam mein there was a strong movement against them i told you tribal people have different understanding of property they are more rooted into property things for them they were foreigners and they created a strong revolution particularly all assam student union by the term all assam student union that is asu abhi recent mein the manipur protest that is going on which we covered in previous current event it is being carried out by manipur student union the students are like this vele to hote hi hain they think protest kar lete hain kuch zindagi mein achieve ho jaye kya pata but nahi the, the difference is students are idealist मैंने आपको द पीपल हु हैव हैड क्लासेस विद मी आई टोल्ड यू ना गवर्नमेंट्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दे डू नॉट दे आर नॉट स्केयरफुल ऑफ एनी आर्मी इन द वर्ल्ड दे डू नॉट स्केयर इवन द बिगेस्ट आर्मी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दे आर स्केयर ऑफ ओनली टू पीपल स्टूडेंट्स एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल्स व्हाई स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज़ दीस टू पीपल आर वेरी आइडियलिस्ट जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल यू पीपल यू थिंक व्हेन आई विल बिकम आईएएस आई विल चेंज द वर्ल्ड आई विल चेंज द सोसाइटी आई विल ब्रिंग दिस आई विल ब्रिंग दैट but then you will know if you do not go in office if you do not obey the minister there will be a transfer to yavatmal then you get to then you get the reality check if you make an order which is as per the law you can be dragged as a hindu hater and imagine her security hindu hater then you have a lot of hindu lovers also and those people can do something with you and your family imagine the danger so this is you get to know that the post you are craving for is not that powerful but nonetheless you believe in it that student a idealist person who thinks that world rotates around that person aisa kabhi nahi hota you rotate around the world this much is clear and that's why they are scared of and you can pick history all is important movement are carried out by student union and that's why government first point of control of government is students change history syllabus <laughs> as if it is the most important thing on earth okay <laughs> but anyway logic is clear okay so they carried out a revolution ultimately government had agreed on nrc ab there was a catch government you know which government they said that muslims who are coming from bangladesh they made a issue in bengal election they said these are parasites and sad thing about this is होम मिनिस्टर लेवल पर्सन सेट दिस मैं फिर कहता हूं डू नॉट कॉल एनी वन पैरासाइट ऑफ कॉकरोच बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू डी ह्यूमनाइजेशन इज बैड दे मे बी अब्लम टेल दिस ओपनली की दे आर इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी प्रॉब्लम विच दे आर बट कॉलिंग दैम पैरासाइट इज बैड यू आर डिग्रेडिंग दैम बिलो ह्यूमैनिटी एंड वंस यू मेक एन एक्सेप्शन यू कैन ऑलवेज मेक एन एक्सेप्शन आज आप इन्हें बोल रहे हो कल किसी और को बोल सकते हो यू गॉट द पॉइंट दिस वॉज मॉरली डिग्रेडिंग छोटा मोटा पॉलिटिशियन ऑलवेज सेज दिस ये छोटू भाई नेता घूमते फिरते हैं दे ऑलवेज से दिस बट अ लेवल ऑफ मिनिस्टर दैट टू यूनियन मिनिस्टर मतलब इट वाज डिग्रेडिंग नन द लेस इट वाज सेड एंड दे मेड अ इशू आउट ऑफ इट एंड देन हैपेंड असम एनआरसी इन दिस असम एनआरसी 10 लाख पीपल लॉस्ट इंडिया सिटीजनशिप 8 लाख हिंदू सो व्हाट वाज योर एक्सक्यूज ऑफ एनआरसी दैट मुस्लिम्स आर parasites they have come from bangladesh they are leeching on india's resources but you did nrc and you found majority of them were hindus ab annuity ho gayi that's why i told you politics runs on perceptions a lot of people voted in favor of party thinking that yes muslims are parasite but ki reality to kuch aur hi nikli but people believed that that's politics it 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 manipulates reality by perception I told you perception, true or false, never matters. If you believe it, it is true. Clear? And this CA was to bring these people in. बात समझ में आई तो इसे ऐसे समझिए. You have a plane. In that plane, you have seven, six people. Five from different community. One is Muslim. So you kicked everyone out. You don't like anyone. You kicked all the six people out. But for the five people, you gave a parachute. it is exactly what ca is it's a parachute for everyone except one community baat samajh mein aayi to he will hit the graph baki we cannot go 
देर आर अदर पार्ट ऑफ इट ऑल्सो वी विल डू दैट जब भी मौका लगेगा क्लियर है so these two things we need to understand with respect to hindu migrant issue of assam oh, sorry jaisalmer first refugee policy second citizenship amendment act clear everyone online people clear any question nahi hai chaliye next sendai framework गया तुम लोग हैं सुबह से कितने घंटे क्लास होगी सब लोगों की कोचिंग टेररिज्म कोई नहीं तो बोला है उन्हें वो हुई जोरस्तेरियन जोरस्तेरियन कौन होते हैं जोरस्तेरियन आर द जिन्हें द पीपल यू कॉल पारसी जोरस्तेरियन देवर ईरानियन एक्चुअली ईरान यूज टू बी अ पारसी कंट्री Iran used to be a Parsi country. Then Islam came there. Those people came running toward India. Ah, that and that. I have. Itna thak gaye. Sore hain pe. हाँ तो जिसे बढ़वानी है वो बढ़वा लो जिसे घटवानी है वो घटवा लो ठीक है चलिए एनी वे क्लियर है अगला है हमारा सेंडाई फ्रेमवर्क व्हाट इज दिस सेंडाई व्हाट हाँ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट में यू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन यू देर इज अ वर्ड आप लोगों ने सुना होता है सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट सबने सुना है क्या होता है क्या होता है बेसिकली यूजिंग द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ प्रेजेंट that does not compromise with the ability of future to meet their needs okay one of the most important component of sustainable development is disaster risk reduction for that you have world conference in which all the countries of the world come by the way how many countries we have in world 191 okay 193 anyone else 195 हाँ, 193 countries we have in the world two are observer right now they are not recognized as a country palestine and holy see vatican city you call that so we have 193 countries in the world two are observer of status theek hai keep that in mind so they all come together in a thing called naam yahan pe niche hua kahin pe pata nahi ye raha conference of disaster risk reduction organized by united nation the last conference took place in sendai japan that in its name it is called sendai framework of course it's a place so aapko kya laga all the treaties of the world they are always named on the place they are signed for example paris agreement climate change signed in paris all agreements geneva convention vienna convention आपका प्लिंडाबा कन्वेंशन ऑल दीज आर बेस्ड ऑन द फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूमोरो इन दिल्ली इट विल बी कॉल्ड दिल्ली कन्वेंशन एंड वट है अपने आप में मक्खी आई होगी पक्का मक्खी ने परेशान करा अब कहा चला गया चलिए दिस मच इज क्लियर एंड वाई सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट दैट्स वाई यू हैव Sendai. Example of re reason for sustainable development. Okay, this is a problem we have: development versus environment. It's a problem everywhere. You have to give. Okay, for example, Char Dham Yojana. It's a program of government of India to build. To build what? 
चार धाम और क्या इट्स अ रोड कनेक्टिविटी टू द चार धाम बेसिकली नोन एज चार धाम योजना गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वॉज ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड फोर लेन हाईवे इन हिमालय फोर लेन फोर लेन हाईवे इन हिमालय ठीक है फैंसी मतलब यू विल ड्राइव अ कार एट वन फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स एन आवर एंड यू विल इंजॉय बट हिमालय आर इकोलॉजिकली सेंसिटिव जोन दे आर अपलिफ्टिंग रफली अराउंड वन सेंटीमीटर इट इज डिस्प्यूटेड फिगर बट वी अज्यूम इट इज रफली अराउंड वन सेंटीमीटर एवरी ईयर इफ यू बिल्ड एनीथिंग देयर इट्स अ इन्विटेशन टू डिजास्टर एग्जाम्पल इन प्रीवियस करेंट इवेंट वी डिड रिमेंबर दैट जोशी मठ जोशी मठ इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टार्टेड बिल्डिंग दैट फोर लेन हाईवे विच साउंड गुड बट देर वॉज अ प्रॉब्लम इट इज एनवायरमेंटली डिजास्टरस somebody appealed in supreme court supreme court gave a stay then supreme court gave a go ahead to the project jabki joshi math is a place it has started sinking down it has developed crack around the uh, houses and people are in a danger of losing everything it happened because you gave too much value to development over environment that's the problem and that's why india india's ranking in environment protection index kahan hogi जमीन में है आउट ऑफ वन एट्टी वी रैंक द हाइएस्ट रैंकिंग ऑफ वन एट्टी ठीक है बिकॉज ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ स्टूपिड हरकते एंड वाई दिस गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग दिस सब भूल गए वाई दिस गवर्नमेंट इज डायल्यूटिंग एनवायरमेंटल रेगुलेशन कॉपरेट फ्रेंडली गवर्नमेंट नियो लिबरल द न्यू स्टूडेंट यू डू नॉट नो दिस टर्म नियो लिबरलिज्म इज अ फिलोसफी which says market fundamentalism the philosophy name is neo liberalism is a philosophy that believes in market fundamentalism means everything shall be governed by demand and supply the government will place no role whatsoever this government is purely neo liberal that's why it favors private everywhere that's why you heard na sale india scheme is going on sale india scheme is going on government has decided to privatize all companies leaving few in few sectors and that's why you have the problem of unemployment in india itni zyada unemployment kyon bad raha hai why there is protest in manipur because people have that traditional mentality of government jobs government jobs are reducing in india education is increasing jobs are reducing and limited jobs are available then everyone ask reservation that's why jats in haryana parties are in gujarat and or kon hai and this uh, tribe metis in manipur what they are all asking they all are asking status of reservation because they know there are maan lete hain there used to be 100 seats now there are 10 seats but you want a pie of it so you want i give me reservation that's why there is a demand of reservation around the country this is clear and this all is happening because of neo liberal philosophy <clears throat> and one of that impact is deterioration of in, deterioration of environment in india government of india is diluting a lot of regulations which will create disaster one day <clears throat> and that's why ranking of government of india in environment protection index is 180 out of 180 theek <laughs> hai supreme ranking clear hai to avoid these kind of thing we have send i think sabko samajh mein aaya all the background and everything up quickly let us read what is here <clears throat> about send i framework dekhiye goals se shuruaat karte hain what are the goals the conference name is third un world conference on disaster risk reduction it happened in send i that's why it is called send i framework it has four goals what are the goals reducing disaster mortality reducing number of people affected by disaster reducing economic losses reducing damage to critical infrastructure all four point you must remember you must remember what is send i why it came where it came which is the prime premium body and what are the goals clear and targets there are seven global targets in the send i framework these all you must remember but a general idea ये फोर गोल्स तो यू मस्ट रिमेंबर एज इट इज दिस सेवन गोल्स जस्ट हैव अ जनरल आइडिया अबाउट इट डायरेक्टली दे मे नॉट बी आस्ट क्लियर 
वट आर द गोल्स सब्सटेंशली रिड्यूस ग्लोबल डिजास्टर मोर्टेलिटी एंड टारगेट ईयर क्या है हमारा सेंडाई का ट्वेंटी थर्टी द सेंडाई फ्रेमवर्क विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन टू इन एनवायरमेंट यू हैव फ्यू वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट पहला है सेंडाई विच इज फॉर डिजास्टर दूसरा है सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्ड पेरिस अग्रीमेंट दीज आर समीमेंट विच आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट यू मस्ट नो दम थोरोली for upsc as well as state psc i think this year state psc up psc psc asks around two or three question directly from sdg sustainable development goal directly they ask question from there theek hai this much is clear so pehla goal kya hai reducing global disaster mortality reducing number of people affected reducing direct disaster economic loss reducing disaster damage reducing number of countries with national and local disaster reduction policy increasing sorry increasing number of countries with policy for disaster risk reduction last is enhancing international cooperation the nee, last is second last hai. last hai aapka multi hazard early warning system and disaster information and assessment matlab before a disaster you must be informed early uh we can inform you for example now we have good technology for cyclones we predict cyclone before it comes we have the few disaster you cannot predict example earthquake ab earthquake kaise cheez hai aap predict nahi kar sakte when you cannot predict what is going into the heart of the person you just proposed so ab kaise predict kar sakte ho ki earth ke andar kya chal raha hai kisi baat hai clear hai so this is the thing you cannot predict earthquake is a non predictable area ठीक है बट नंद लेस वी कैन हैव क्विक एफर्ट द एरियाज ऑफ डिजास्टर वेयर वी कैन नॉट प्रिडिक्ट वी कैन हैव क्विक रिकवरी डिजास्टर विल हैपन वी विल क्विकली रिकवर इट क्लियर दिस मच तो व्हाट आर द की प्रिंसिपल्स रिमेंबर दिस की प्रिंसिपल्स फोर आर रिस्क रिडक्शन रेजिलियंस रिकवरी रिकंस्ट्रक्शन तो इफ अ क्वेश्चन इज फोर आर ऑफ डिजास्टर रिस्क रिडक्शन व्हाट आर दे फोर आर Remember them as it is. It's a very factually prelims content. Mains का मैंने आपको समझा दिया all the debate between development versus environment and everything. It has implementation monitoring framework not very important. Significance मैं आपको समझा ही चुका हूँ. Government of India in order to implement Sendai framework brought a policy known as. This is government of India's plan to implement Sendai framework. In this you can read. Highly factual content. Clear? वो ही government के वो ही आपको पता है. You can imagine what the government will say. We will implement this. We will do this. We will do that. After thirty years, we did nothing. ठीक है? So that is what we have. Clear? है? Start direct points है. जैसे for example, we will invest in prevention, mitigation, response, recovery. How we will invest? What will happen? Nobody know. ठीक है? Horizontal, vertical integration. How it will happen? Nobody care. ठीक है कम्युनिकेशन एक्टिविटी इंफॉर्मेशन एजुकेशन अब इंस्टाग्राम से टाइम मिले तब तो ये सुने कोई ठीक है तो ऐसी है कहानी ठीक है नहीं यू नो दिस रिमेंबर दिस एज इट इज चलिए अगली बात है जल्दी से समुद्र शक्ति व्हाट इज समुद्र शक्ति इट इज बाइंडिंग ऑन कंट्रीज सेंडाई फ्रेम नो नॉट बाइंडिंग बट इनकरेज क्या हो हाँ समुद्र शक्ति बेसिकली इट इट वाज अ रीसेंट एडिशन ऑफ इंडो इंडोनेशियन इंडिया इंडोनेशियन बायोलेटल एक्सरसाइज बाय द नेम ऑफ समुद्र शक्ति एज इट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज द थिंग्स सराउंडिंग दिस व्हाई वी आर हैविंग दिस तो जब भी आप कोई न्यूज देखे ना यू हैव टू आस्क फ्यू क्वेश्चन अबाउट दैट न्यूज पहला वट हैपन सेकेंड वाई इट हैपन ठीक है थर्ड वट कुड हैव हैपन एंड फोर्थ वट इज द एरियाज बात समझ में पहला यू विल सी व्हाट इज द न्यूज सेकंड व्हाई इट वाज अ न्यूज बट इन दिस पॉलिटिकल कंटेंट नहीं दैट पॉलिटिकली वी हैड दिस नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रेटेजिकली सोशली इकोनॉमिकली कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली व्हाट कुड बी देयर बात समझ में सबको दैट डायमेंशन यू मस्ट कवर सो एज सच दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल वन लाइनर न्यूज दैट इट इज अ एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया इंडोनेशिया व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज व्हाई वी आर हैविंग दिस एक्सरसाइज चाइना 
because China has a project known as Belt and Road Initiative (BRI). Under this, China is spreading its wing around the Asia and Europe. To counter that, India is having joint exercises. ठीक है? उसके लिए we have another initiative. India, जैसे India, Indian naval capacity. इसमें few points हैं. Just remember as it is. जैसे modernization, <coughs> modernization. गया गला लग रहा है. आज ऐसी कितनी क्लास हो गई तुम्हारे कितने घंटे हो गए तीसरी क्लास टोटल कितने आवर हुए आठ घंटे आठ घंटे तो टॉर्चर है चलो है नहीं और तुम लोगों की क्लास कितनी है दो घंटे <laughs> ये तो ये तो खत्म है ऐसे ग्लूकोज लाके तो चलिए अगला देखते हैं चलो देखो फ्यू न्यूज़ लेफ्ट ये देखो वो फोन में घुस गया चलो ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है कोई नहीं कोई नहीं कोई नहीं सब थक गए हैं सारे के सारे थक गए हैं चलो एक न्यूज़ और बचिए झेल लो ठीक है एंड Do tell them अगर प्रॉब्लम हो रही तो ना बोलो कि इतनी लंबी क्लासेस ना हो ठीक है सो so, इसमें देखिए मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ कैपेबिलिटी ट्रेनिंग मैं एक काम करो मैं तो समरी देता हूँ तुम तो मर जाओगे वरना ठीक है तो समरी क्लियर है सेंडाई फ्रेमवर्क बेसिकली दिस समुद्र शक्ति एक्सरसाइज इट हैज बीन डन बिकॉज इंडिया इज ट्राइंग टू एनहेंस इट्स पावर मेरी टाइम पावर एंड वाई मेरी टाइम पावर बिकॉज चाइना हैज अ प्रोजेक्ट कॉल बी आर आई एंड वी वॉन्ट टू काउंटर दैट फॉर दैट वी ऑल्सो हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इनिशियटिव सिंपली देख लेते हैं इंडियन ओशन रीजन में इनिशियटिव रीजन तो ये रहे वी हैव एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बाय द नेम आयोरा इंडियन ओशियन रिम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इंक्लूड ट्वेंटी थ्री कंट्री ऑफ एंटायर इंडियन ओशियन वी वॉन्ट टू ब्रिंग दैम टूगेदर सो दैट वी कैन डायल्यूट दियर इंक्लिनेशन टूवर्ड चाइना सेकेंड वी हैव ए सागर इट्स अ प्रोग्राम गिवन बाय मोदी जी that is the security and growth for all in the region sagar initiative sagar initiative theek hai ye initiative you have to remember this all are very important third is ians indian ocean naval symposium it's a joint kind of exercise of indian navy in which all the navies of indian ocean are voluntarily invited to come and have a joint exercise another is project mausam it's a it's a cultural and economic initiative of india all the indian ocean country we want to bring them together in a cultural and economic ties agla hai indian ocean conference it's a conference where we bring out broad policy maker academicians and business leaders to discuss all the issue in iora so basic kya hai samundra shakti is one of the component of india's Indian domain, uh, sorry, Indian Ocean domain awareness. All these initiatives are compulsory to be that. Detail me. यहाँ पे तो we are doing current event. Whenever you do IR or जो भी करेंगे, IR में you know all these initiatives in detail. What is the component? What is the membership? Why it was launched? Why it is a failure? Why it is a success? All things must be in detail. Clear है सबको? Current event में we just have an overview always. लास्ट न्यूज कर लेते हैं क्राइम ये तो मजा आएगा आप लोगों को क्राइम एंड सिक्योरिटी इन द एज ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी जैसे एग्जांपल जैसे एंजल प्रिया के अकाउंट और जैसे एंजल प्रिया के अकाउंट दे आर अ न्यू क्राइम एंड सिक्योरिटी एट्रोसिटीज ऑन बॉयज ठीक है इट अप्स द होप एंड देन डाउन द होप ठीक है नहीं पता एंजल प्रिया के अकाउंट क्या करा टीम तो मेरे पास ही है <laughs> चलिए है वे है हाँ हाँ अरे हमने भी किया था तुम्हारे टाइम की बात नहीं है हमने भी किया था ऐसी बात नहीं है कॉलेज में हमने किया था एक लड़के का हमने हमने बनाया ऐसी कॉलेज में बहुत लोग बकवास करते हैं कॉलेज में यू नो तो वी क्रिएटेड एन अकाउंट और जितने भी स्मार्ट पीपल बनते थे ना वी चैटेड विद दैम और फिर क्या क्या बोले वो <laughs>
पर वो बात अच्छी है कि वी आर सेंसिटिव पीपल वी डिड नॉट लीक इट वरना वो बेचारे शक्ल नहीं दिखा पाते किसी को पर ऐसा होता रहता है चलता रहता है ठीक है क्राइम एंड सिक्योरिटी इन द एज ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज फ्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट वी विल सी थ्री पर्टिकुलरली इसमें आई थिंक यूपीएससी आज द क्वेश्चन मीन्स में पूछा था मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा एक्जैक्टली बट यूपीएससी ने पूछा था इसका क्वेश्चन नॉन फंजिएबल टोकन दिस इज अ न्यू टाइप ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी देखिए अर्लियर वट यूज टू डू यूज टू मेक अ पेंटिंग यूज टू मेक समथिंग एल्स नाउ वट यू कैन डू इज मेक दैट एंड क्रिएट अ क्यू आर कोड ऑफ इट and rather than taking your painting everywhere all you need to do is take the digital code whosoever has the digital code has your painting baat samajh mein now there is an era of digital art aapne dekha hoga you make digital paintings on tablets and everything you can also make physical paintings you convert them into a code a computer code and whosoever has that code has your property that is called non fungible token so virtually anything in this world can be converted anything this dash this pen your friend your relative you can also convert them and put them on sale if you like theek <laughs> hai that is called not and whosoever own that uh, own that token own, will own your friend simply theek hai so aur ek kis technology pe based hai but from you fact uh, science and technology mein remember one thing upsc will not ask technical knowledge If you have seen the syllabus, but saaf likha hai awareness in the field of science and technology. Ma kahi nahi likha specialization in the field of science and technology. So science and technology, but do not go in deep details. If they use this kind of band in that band, it has this kind of frequencies. Koi nahi pusta. Just have a general idea. ऐसे सोचिए कि यूम अ टेक्नोलॉजी हैस कम तो एक आम इंसान की तरह एस अ नॉर्मल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर व्हाट यू शुड नो अबाउट इट that we need to know about this it is based on technology called blockchain the same technology that is used for cryptocurrencies theek hai to ye aapko remember karna nft is a non fungible token it can it in this physical assets are converted into digital assets physical assets are converted into digital assets and it is based on blockchain technology nfts are distinct and cannot be exchanged on one to one basis matlab every commodity has their own nft aisa nahi hai ki is table ka nft can be exchanged for this pens nft aisa nahi hoga its nft will be different its nft will be different they cannot be exchanged for each other baat samajh mein aayi that nft every nft is different they cannot be exchanged in one to one basis पेन का एन अलग होगा इसका एन अलग होगा टीवी का एन अलग होगा क्लियर है सो दिस पॉइंट यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर पहला पॉइंट क्या है दैट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन ब्लॉकचेन सेकंड पॉइंट इट इज डिस्टिंक्ट एंड कैन नॉट बी यूज्ड फॉर वन टू वन बेसिस थर्ड पॉइंट एन कैन बी यूज्ड टू कन्वर्ट एनी फिजिकल एसेट इन डिजिटल एसेट्स बाकी मैंने आपको समझाई दिया आर्ट वगैरह को कन्वर्ट वगैरह करते हैं ठीक है एंड फोर्थ पॉइंट इट प्रोवाइड proof of ownership matlab aapko pata na if i convert if i convert something into nft and anyone who buys the nft becomes the owner of that property and this is a proof pehle kya hota tha you copy the paintings ab ek painting banai usse kitni copies ban jati thi and you cannot distinguish them and then you were cheated in this case you have a painting and it is converted into a nft token ab that is distinct token it cannot be changed it cannot be manipulated but there are hacks to everything and there is hack to nft also that there are people who can replicate the token theek <laughs> hai so this is the this is the reason we are discussing this in a security threat you made a painting you made a nft token which is distinct but it can be printed multiple times it can be copied multiple times and this is the threat of in theft of intellectual property samajh mein aaya the problem it is a theft of intellectual property second issue that we have is ai to sabko pata hai isme kya batau main tumhe artificial intelligence jaise chat gtp aa gaya aapke paas theek hai ek bard karke aaya google has brought his own bard dark web par ha dark web wagera pe mil jata hai ai ka to aapko pata hai the problem with ai we have is it is human created disaster for humans ai artificial intelligence means a machine that becomes sentient अब द प्रॉब्लम विद दैट इज 
it can replace us. Okay, we have limitations. We are sentient, but with limitations. We have to sleep eight hours class. We cannot tolerate. A machine can do anything without limitations. Okay, so that's the fear we have. AI ka. AI pe there are two two ideas. One says it is a threat to humans' existence. Other says any way human will destroy themselves. Okay, so it is nonetheless important. It is easing everything. The biggest problem with AI is job loss. The biggest problem is job loss. They get job like mine will not go away because these are intellect based job. In this AI cannot do much. They fail. You know that chat GDP fail UPSC prelims. Okay, because UPSC prelims UPSC wale nahi kar pa rahe. Chat GDP kya karega? Okay, clear hai sir. So ye to aapko pata hi hai. Last thing that I want to do. Last thing. Metaverse. Suna hai kabi iske baare mein? Metaverse. Nahi suna? I haven't seen that uh, movies ये जो आती रहती हैं uh, Avengers किसकी है Marvel Marvel movie में metaverse का discussion है तो multiverse metaverse का discussion नहीं है cool है उसमें metaverse का है चलो कोई बात नहीं मैं बता देता हूँ देखिए metaverse is exemplified in the form of combination of physical world and cyber world example Snapchat Snapchat इतनी जो कैसी Snapchat पे you use filters ना that can make you look anything that is a combination of real world and physical world and a lot of people get surprised also ठीक है chatting with the angel god the devil है ठीक है so personally it is not only a security threat it is an emotional threat also ठीक है metaverse but logically है metaverse basically involves what you use you are combining the physical world and the cyber world. So this is common. But understand its good implication. You have a suit, top to bottom suit called haptic suit. You have a robot, a proper robot that is connected with internet or some other technology through a system. And that system is connected to a suit. From top to bottom, you have a full haptic suit. Now you do not have to go to a war. That robot can go to a war. You will in be a chamber. You will use that suit, and the robot will exactly replicate. For example, how you know? For example, if I put a pen here, how will you know that a pen is in your hand? This pen touches the sensors of your body called skin. That skin sends an electrical signal that goes to the brain. The brain translates that something has touched, and that is haptic suit. And that's the future of which industry? Are meter numerous implications. The most important will be pawn industry. Imagine the scenario. Now you do not have to have a partner, just a suit. <laughs> Enjoy the life. And why I'm saying so? Most of the internet traffic, kis cheez ke liye hota hai? Pawn ke liye. More than 70% of internet traffic is pawn. So I see cash arm. Anyway, bath clear hai. But it is a it is a threat also. I can use to do things. Up, imagine KGA, you have a haptic suit. When it will become common sense, you can hack them. You have a haptic suit. I can use your suit to do whatever I want. That's a big threat that we have. That's why we are discussing them in. This is called meta verse. That's an example of meta metaverse. Your presence in virtual world, maybe real or artificial. Oh, maybe the yeah. Clear up code these news. How ho 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 done. <clears throat> with that note, we shall take the leave. Bye bye then. We'll meet again next Saturday. <laughs> Who have more classes? They can ask. Yes, bye bye everyone. Welcome. Yes, Afifa. Bye, Priyanshi. Welcome.